Hello and welcome to Adirondack Astronomy. Currently I have my 6 inch Newtonian set up and I am going to do a sketch of M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, and also I'm able to spot M32 and M110 in the eyepiece, two of the small galaxies nearby the uh, bigger Andromeda Galaxy. So let's have a look in Stellarium to see where it's located in the sky and then we will get on with the sketch. M31, the Andromeda galaxy, can be found in the constellation Andromeda. M31 has a magnitude of 3.4, and alongside this large bright galaxy are two smaller and dimmer galaxies, M32 and M110, both around magnitude 8. On a clear night, I have had good luck spotting Andromeda in Bortle 4 or Bortle 5 zone skies with the unaided eye, but don't expect to spot its two companions. Being the largest galaxy visible in the northern hemisphere it is hard to not know of this one even as a beginner. Andromeda is 2.5 million light years away and is actually on a collision course with our very own Milky Way galaxy at a speed of 110 kilometers or 68 miles per second, set to collide in 4.5 billion years. With that happy thought in your head, let's start the sketch. Shortly after starting the sketch, I noticed a satellite go through the field of view. I believe I identified it as Global Star M032 at around 9.08 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. After placing all the stars, I started shaping up Andromeda, and I find galaxies to be a bit difficult to get just right. So much faint detail that it's hard to tell if you're actually seeing it or not. And getting the pastel pencil to accurately show the brightness of the galaxy is not an easy task under dim light. There was a lot of back and forth on shaping Andromeda and trying to accurately place M32 and M110 in the field of view. And that about wraps up this time lapse, so let's have a look at the final sketch. After coming inside with the sketch, I did a bit of touch-up in better lighting and added the bright core of the galaxy. Visually, this isn't nearly as big as it is in pictures, and this galaxy in light pollution really only shows the bright core which looks like a fuzzy star. Further inspection shows the illuminated dust near the core of the galaxy. I was unable to tease out any dust lanes or detail in the galaxy. This is definitely one of those objects that would greatly benefit from somewhere less light polluted. It is on my list of objects to revisit in the future from a dark sky site. That about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and clear skies.